Welcome back to the Ford Shopyard, ladies and gentlemen. And today we're going to be looking at Frankie. And I'm going to explain to you some of the things that haven't been done that really need to be done. Some things that are long overdue and haven't been done. Now, Frankie's 2001 Ford Expedition 5.4 four wheel drive. It's got 240,000 miles on it. And, for instance, some of the things need to be done uh, that I want to have done needs to be tuned up. I mean, he's running like crap. So, the spark plugs, the ignition coils, the mass airflow sensor, and all four oxygen sensors need to be replaced. The alternator and the fan belt need to be replaced. I want to have the coolant flushed and block flushed and thermostat replaced. Um... I want to have all four shock absorbers replaced because this thing still he still got the original four motorcraft um, shock absorbers on him. Uh, I'd like to have him painted soon. Maybe it'll probably be a while. I need to have this um, brake hose over here replace that big round thick round one right there. Need to have it replaced because it's about to bust. Ball joints and tire rods, you see all that grease build up. Ball joints, upper and lower tire, uh, inner and outer tire rods, upper and lower ball joints, all need to be replaced. Um, as you can see, my window, uh, my little guards here, my plastic guards, ain't but one left. All the other ones fell off, and I need to replace those. Go around the other side, and you can see what I'm talking about. That one's gone, and that one's gone now. Just got old and fell off. And another thing is, another thing, another thing is, um, I want to have the uh, grill replaced because it's got a little chip right there and a little piece missing. And um. So, mom, don't don't pay no attention to that dog barking. It's starting to get on my nerves cause I'm, when I'm trying to video this stuff. But never mind him. But um, I do need to get a new wheel on the front because this thing still got the passenger. I mean the spare wheel on it. I need to get a matching wheel like those and get it replaced. Uh, I need to get two new front tires because these things are shot. As you can see, both these back ones are brand new Goodyear Wrangler. They cost me like 200 bucks a piece. And see, they're both brand new Goodyear. Right there, Goodyear. Both brand new. Ain't even got 10,000 miles on them yet. And so, you can see this front one here, it's shot. I mean, it's all the way down to past the wear bar indicator. So, it needs to be replaced. I actually bought this one brand new about two, two, three years ago. Put about 50,000 miles on it, so I got my money's worth. So, um... What else do I want to have done, need to have done? Uh, as far as the uh, inside goes, not really a whole lot. Again, here we can, I ain't gonna listen to that dog on, not barking. It's affecting the video. But, um, not much things in here I want to have done. Uh, I need to have the radio replaced because. The antenna way back there in the back and the ceiling is dry rotted because just old age. And so um, the radio don't work at all. I mean, it powers up. You just can't get no channels. As you can see, this blue wire right here is for the fan because something happened inside the dash. Something, I don't know if it was a fuse or something or other, but you now when you hook them together, let's see if I can do it for you. Hook them both together. You can see the vents come on. And, you know, you can see in there and here. 
As you can hear, the vents coming on. Fans are working. But, and if you see that big metal thing right there, that big shiny thing there in the corner, that's the main computer. 20 years old, 240,000 miles, still working like a clock. Ain't never had no problem out of it. Now, um, let's go ahead and turn this thing back off. But, um, not much more other than things on the motor I want to have done. Tune-up and all that stuff. That's just about it, truth be told. See, I got my jack in here from changing my turret on my pickup yesterday. But that's really about it. I mean, these expeditions are great trucks. They'll last forever. They'll outlast a Toyota or Honda, that's for damn sure. But, um, I've seen you saying with a million miles, two, two and a half million miles on them, never had no problems. As you can see, look at here. See this collar right here? That's my boy Shiloh's collar. Lost him back in December. But, um, and I miss him terribly. But, as far as Frankie goes, there ain't nothing much, you know, other than the normal maintenance, tune-up and all I want to have done. And uh, I've got a list of things, prices and things. It'll be about 700 bucks to get everything needs to be got for him. And so. But, yeah, that's about it. I mean, I don't got the key, so I can't show you the mileage, but it's... 240, 240,000. <laughs> but, um, uh, I was gonna show you this too. This right here. This, uh, this thing ain't got no rust on it whatsoever. Um, the frame is solid. As all four frames are, they don't never rust because we don't live up north and everything else. But, um, no rust whatsoever. It's a great truck. I ain't never had no problems out of it. Never had no problems out of the old fella. As you see, it's got scratches here because it's just a work truck and things there. I'm running the trees. Pulling trees down with it, as you can see. Where uh, I don't know how good you can see it with the rain, but it's got scratches all over from damn cats. I can't stand damn cats anymore. It was so aggravating. But anyway, um, that's it for. I think that'll be it for today's video. Um, I just had this. I just had this back glass replaced after some somebody busted it out in the food line parking lot. I don't know. Never found out who did it, but somebody busted it out. But as you can see, all these scratches here from things hitting it. And but hey, that don't affect the motor and transmission. Big dent there. Somebody, act, you know, this here, I don't know how that happened. That was before we had it. And so, but, you know, I'll tell you an interesting story. I was going to a job interview one day, and I got rear-ended. A woman in a damn Toyota rear-ended me. And as you can see, that ain't a mark on it. This little mark right here was like that before we got it too. But she rear-ended me in her Toyota. And it didn't even put a mark on it. All these other scratches are, like I said, from trees and from the dogs and things like that. But it didn't even put a mark in that in in the in, a, in my bumper here. As you can see, it's got a tow package. Works well. I ain't never had no problems. Um... But, speaking of that woman's Toyota, she rear-ended me. And boy, did it destroy her Toyota. It, it busted the headlights, it shattered the grill, the bumper, it ripped the bumper, it about ripped the bumper off. 
destroyed her fan, cooling fans and radiator, and that thing was just sitting there pouring water. And so, did a number on hers. Didn't didn't hurt my old tank none. This thing's a tank. It's been through it all. It's been it's been stuck sideways in a ditch, and it still sit there and idle, no problem. Me and Daddy were out playing in the mud one day, and that thing got stuck as could be. He said, "Check this out, son. I want to see see if we can go some mud bogging." Down at my aunt's house, and uh, it was stuck too, boy. We got stuck in kind of a right in the driveway in kind of a ditch, and it was sit this whole side was buried. It was buried up to here, up to about right here in water, and it still just sat there and run and run and run, and ain't had no problems at it. Never give us a lick of problems, but um. That'll be it for today's video, guys. If y'all like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the Forward Shopyard. Thank you, guys. Bye.